Hi there, this is Witty and I wanted to talk about a certain tough subject and this subject is hacking. How to deal with hackers and you know what is the long run result here from your standing as a Warcraft 3 player when you're dealing with other hackers in the game. So let me paint a story for you. Um, recently uh, there's this guy called Perfect and uh, he's a flagrant map hacker and incredibly obvious and he really really got to me one game because I was human I was going tanks I was quite vulnerable and he was just constantly inside my base the split second it was like left open alone and I just didn't have the resources to get the towers back up so we just constantly going there with the blade master he goes orc every game as most hackers will do because blade master is basically the number one hero for hackers you couldn't ask for a better hero to use map hack with for obvious reasons for wind walk and all of that he can get in there quickly he does loads of damage he gets well and truly out of control if um, he gets a, enough kills and if you're using map hack then well you're probably gonna get a fair few free kills so this guy just tears me to pieces in one of my games and I've known he's been a hacker before this point but that game really got to me and last night I played a couple of games and lo and behold he was on my team and I said to myself the time where he tore me apart that when I get that guy on my team I am just going to team kill him I don't care whatsoever about the rest of the team I really hate this guy so I go ahead and I do that now do I feel better for it no even at the time I still felt a bit off when I was doing it and he knows why I was team killing him and uh, some of my allies were a little oblivious and they couldn't work it out and uh, one of the funny things is is that uh, one of my allies said oh something about me letting the enemy map hackers win and there's a lot to that that he probably didn't intend he just came across as an idiot to me but if I actually look into what he's trying to say there well actually I'll go into that in later basically what I'm trying to say is I get him in this game I team kill him take him out of it and I then proceed to kill myself because I, I want to make sure that not like the enemy, not like my team are likely to win, but I want to make sure that they can't win. Otherwise, it will be for nothing because he'll still get a points for it. I think. Um, I just didn't want to take any chances with that. So um, yeah, I don't feel great after this game. So I'm like, okay, well, I did it, and uh, I said to him, I'm going to team kill him every game, and. Uh, I start searching again after a long time as it usually takes me now to find a Warcraft 3 game he's on my team again so I stay true to my word and I team kill him and I feel no better in fact probably even worse than I did before and I'm realizing very quickly that something's not really right here and um, there's a lot of bits that I can go over in a moment regarding this so I team kill him and he makes an interesting point now I'm not above my own pride here so whilst I hate this guy and loathe him and I think he's utter scum he made a point that I can understand because I have a good way of looking at things from an outsider's perspective it allows me to be more empathetic and um, he said something along the lines of this is basically helping me out because it's good abuse he doesn't care about his stats although I will get to that as well there's something strange later on but that'll be the last bit I cover he doesn't care so much about his stats and all of that and uh, the more I team kill him the worse his stats get and generally the way that works is is he's more likely to find games because this is something I suffered with when I had um, 50 plus wins I'm still hovering around that it takes a long time to find games if you've got a more even win to loss ratio you're more likely to fit in with more other Warcraft 3 players so by team killing him I'm making his win loss ratio 
more even, which means he's going to get into more games quicker and faster. So he's actually going to hit more people with map hack if I'm actually team killing him. Now this is just one of the things that strike me when this happens. The other thing is, is going back to what Pink said. He said, I'm letting the enemy map hackers win. And I was like, what are you talking about? I'm killing this guy because he's a map hacker. So I'm actually going to the source. But without being too, uh, throwing too many accusations around, let's just all face it. There's a lot of hackers on Warcraft 3, okay? So this is a big problem. If it was just a couple you know, taking them down, team killing them might not be such a bad thing, but because there's so many, I'm not really making a dent here by killing this guy. I'm hurting him, but even not that much because he even said he's going to find more games. And what about the thought that there might be enemy map hackers? So map hackers on the enemy team. I'm just giving them a free win. So there's almost no way to win this by team killing. Now, the team kill originated from just anger and spite from myself. I never necessarily thought it was a good idea. I don't think it's the way forward, not even really at the time. And I fast realized afterwards that you can't team kill map hackers. It's essentially what I'm trying to get to here, is you've got to kind of accept it. Now, I am... Um, more than happy to accuse people of map hack and I have a lot of fun doing so to be honest because that's half the fun of the game is working out who's a map hack and who isn't because there's so many out there and when suspicious things happen it's very easy to accuse someone because it is so easy for people to get map hack on this game and f to have it work and to have no repercussions whatsoever so Really, it struck me that I can't beat map hackers by team killing them or doing anything like that. You've just got to play and put up with it and almost make sure to memorize who the map hackers are and then adjust your gameplay accordingly. Because that's one thing that really annoys me about it is I'm a very risky player. I like to do fun, crazy strats and things like that. But a lot of that is incredibly vulnerable. So if I'm fast expanding somewhere that no one would think you would expand, unless they have map pack, it ruins my strategies, it ruins my gameplay style. So there's nothing I can do about that, but that is a clearly a huge problem for me. So if I see that guy on my uh, enemy team, I know in my head that I basically have to play quite boring and standard, because I can't take any big risks, because I know he is blatant he doesn't even really try to hide it very well he just goes for the throat so if there's a vulnerable spot where he can get a few kills he's going there regardless of how it looks so okay we've discussed this now let's have a look I'm gonna edit in a few clips for you to see whilst I've been chatting if we go take a look at his profile now this is one of the bizarre things is he was saying he doesn't care about it and all of that but yet on his profile, this is his profile from today, and it also looked the same yesterday. And he actually hasn't played any games since yesterday, so I don't know if I put him off. I very much doubt it. Um, he's got 6TK and other basic claims. He's, he's laying down a whole load of reasons why he's lost that aren't his own. Yet he hasn't put in his profile, oh, and... Uh, the um, you know the 198 total wins I've got are thanks to map hack. He hasn't put that bit down. He's only put the bits that are blaming on disconnects and people leaving and team killing. Well, that's bizarre, isn't it? This it's a hacker complaining about hacks, basically, disconnects and stuff. So I don't know. There's something really weird about that. What kind of person is this? And this brings me other, up to the other point is, now I'm a very honest and open person and I like to put everything down on the line. I don't like to be fake or, you know, make things up. And I'm going to tell you something that I haven't said before, but I have tried map hack before. And this is basically probably about a year into Reign of Chaos. So this is before the Frozen Throne came out. Now, there was a lot of buzz about map hack back then because people weren't sure it was real or not 
and I decided to look into it and try it out perhaps with the intention of maybe using it properly for like solo and such and the day came I took I found it, the map hack and it was incredibly easy that's still the case at the moment and I tried it out I played some solo and after my first game I felt really horrible you know I could see everything I know what it looks like so I can understand what the hackers are seeing in fact they probably see even more back compared to what I could see back then I'll, I'm going to list a whole load of the stuff that you have with hacks I'm going to get into that into another case and um, I didn't like it now that's a good thing it's human error really because I sh should have never even thought to try it but there was a lot of buzz especially back then because it's you know you're essentially getting yourself map hack is like a huge cheat we're talking a massive monumental cheat here in a game where <laughs> basically the entire map is fog of war but the other person that actually has map hack they can see everything that's going on that's huge in an RTS game so I basically got rid of it like after my first game of trying it out and I never ever ever used it again I used it once hated it I one of the main reasons why I didn't like it as well was because I felt like I couldn't like gank the enemy because I thought it would look too obvious and that just messed me up and my play style so that's why a lot of map hackers are quite blatant because they, if they spend all their time thinking mm, if I come in at this angle it's going to be too obvious I need to leave it like five seconds and then I'll go and there's too much thinking about trying to strategize that alone and there's something so scummy about it just seeing everything on the map and just thinking why am, am I doing this so I got rid of that and I never went back and I'm very glad to say that and I have no intention of going into it because I think it takes a certain kind of person to do map hack you know you know a lot of people might try it whether they continue with it that says a lot about their character I think in my opinion it's the people that use map hack and then keep using it they rely on it they're not even just using it as a bonus they're dependent on it and it says to me what kind of person you are in real life as well now we can all say we've got alter personalities for gaming and such but we're still all human beings and the choices we make have an impact on others and this is no different for gaming if someone's map hacking they're cheating they have an unfair advantage that is ruining your gameplay experience so they are still affecting you one way or another whether it's a game or not or it could be related to something in real life someone has an advantage now we don't like cheaters in other games and real life activities so why should we stand for it in games now I just wanted to say that I think it's this guy for example perfect he's clearly just a bit of scum in real life and people are gonna be like that you can tell you know he's not gonna change he's not gonna think one day oh this map hack oh, I don't know why I was doing this it's horrible uh, it's bad he's been doing it for ages so this kinda says what a kinda person he is he's not gonna change he's gonna carry on being the scum that he is blatantly map hacking not caring about anyone else so that's disgusting in itself and I cannot stand that kinda person but hey there's enough people out there a bit of variety not all of it is good now last but not least if I move on to um, the next bit I just literally just took two minutes here I've never done this I've almost been scared to do this just out of curiosity I wanted to kind of see what's out there but at the same time I've had it in my head this is way back as well like um, if you search for these kind of things you can somehow get linked back but Warcraft 3 is an old game Blizzard don't do anything about map hackers now okay one of my idols in Warcraft 3 in the early days was a map hacker I didn't know it at the time he had the Malfurion icon this was back when that's 1500 wins very few people had like a massive icons he was rank 1 in solo I was like wow this guy's great he's a night off player just amazing and he got found out because back then map hack and stuff like that was trickier you could click on enemy units and stuff 
and it would show in the replay. Now, map hack has evolved and basically people can click on your stuff all day long and if you go check the replay you won't know anything you can watch it from their point of view we can watch it with fog of war on or off you will not be able to tell because for example I checked my replay with perfect now this guy must have clicked on a building accidentally at one point even if he's really trying not to it's going to happen and he's never he's, his camera angle has never gone off onto a screen or part of this map that he can't see so going back to my point about I just took two minutes now to look up Warcraft Rehacks. Now I'm not going to tell you the name of the site, but needless to say, it's pretty obvious and easy to find it, and you can just Google it. Now, by doing, by mentioning this, I might be in some way advertising it. But then again, like I mentioned before, it comes down to the kind of person you are, whether you would choose to actually use this. And if you're the kind of person that would choose to use this and stick with this, then to be honest, you were going to find it anyway. So really, what I'm trying to say is, there's a site here that has some pretty advanced hacking technology, and there's forums dedicated to it, and what's even more disgusting is there's a sticky thread here at the top called How to Create Your Own Warcraft 3 Map Hack, and if you click on it, it's a guide, a tutorial, teaching others how to fucking cheat. I mean, does that just not seem disgusting to you? I'm sorry, but to me, I actually am honestly a little violated by that. It's just, really? What kind of person does that? Ugh, it's disgusting, but... If I click on another one, right, this is the main map hack that they've currently got. I'm just gonna read this out, and you see... <laughs> You see how long it go, how long it takes until you get offended by the amount of advantages that a map hacker has. Because don't just think it gives them vision of the map. It gives them a whole lot more. Okay, so we got reveal units, main mini map, invisible, and illusions. Well, that's huge. Being able to even see invisible units, so you know you know a shade is following you, so you can find some sort of legit way to get rid of it by building your own shade and that way you can totally take out um, the enemy's vision of you. Reveal items, so it shows the items. Reveal, uh, remove fog, so full and shared, so there's advanced options for it to how it would look for you. Show skills and cooldowns. So I don't know exactly how that would look, but if for example you click on an enemy Mountain King, and he's recently used Stormbolt. Does it show to you that he has five seconds left exactly until he can do Stormbolt again? Because that's obviously another huge advantage. And this isn't just map hack. This is just another type of hack. Show enemy resources when clicking on their buildings. That's huge. So you know, at high level games, you know where what status your enemy is at. Whether they're saving up to build towards a tech or maybe... Um, uh, a set of buildings or maybe they're going to go you get you can get the idea that they're saving up gold because they're heading towards a shop so then you know they're going to buy scrolls a couple of scrolls and a scroll of protection and come and attack you so you've already got an advantage just knowing ahead even though you can see them on the map you also if you know how the Warcraft 3 game works you can sort of tell what people are doing with this kind of thing enable trading now I'm not sure about that but this is something I didn't pick up on and it's something you guys mentioned and uh, it's disgustingly bad but if you remember I recently, very recently, uploaded the 2 vs 2 tournament with me and Sexy Time playing and in the last game we're against map hackers now we assume they were, but they pretty much definitely were and I checked the replay afterwards and someone pointed out, and I don't know why I seemed oblivious to this at the time, but someone pointed this out you could tell that pink was map uh, was um, they, this trading that I'm going on about basically I think that might possibly be um, feeding so we've talked about feeding before feeding is where you give your ally resources so you go to your resource trading tab you see your ally you click gold and you click on wood now this hack it basically feeds them all available wood and gold basically whenever possible so it will show up on the screen 
um, if you look at the person that's receiving the money, receive 10 gold, receive 10 gold, receive 10 gold, and it's just spam going all the way down the screen. Now, that's pretty freaking impossible to do if you're manually doing that, and that's just doing nothing else and concentrating going on this click OK, because you have to click accept as well and then go back to the resource trade. So you may have the hotkey up. So you've got click, go this, click, go this, click, go this. It's really hard to do. But the fact that the Kai was in the middle of a battle, moving his Huntresses and his Keeper of the Grove, entangling, using abilities, microing, whilst giving 10 gold and 10 wood every half a second, possibly less than that, the guy's either Korean or he's using some kind of hack. So, um, wow, that's huge, that one as well, especially in the team games. I mean, that affected us quite a lot in uh, our little 2 versus 2 tournament. That certainly was another advantage that the enemy have that isn't just map hack. There's all kinds of hacks. Um, color HP bars from units under fog grey. Not exactly sure what that means. Color invisible units pink. Oh, I see. So it makes it more obvious. Um, Roshan and Rune Notifier. Now, that might be to do with, on certain maps like Turtle Rock, if you kill the uh, goblin uh, shop creeps, one of them will drop a little rune and if you click on the rune it's a rune of sightseeing or something like that and it acts as a sentry ward so it can give vision so they would know again another way these map hackers would know I don't know why I keep doing that by the way but uh, these map hackers would know um, that you have vision of that area so they would avoid it so again another way to just completely and utterly avoid you they can see you at all costs and they even know how to avoid at all costs you seeing them Incredible. Mana bars? That's a new one. You don't even have that in Warcraft 3. That's pretty freaking good advantage right there. That's something that Blizzard should have put in themselves. Because if you put the always show health bars on, that's amazing. That's a huge help. And if you don't have that on, I urge you to do that. That will help you with your micro and your gameplay. So imagine that, but also showing a little blue bar underneath, probably. Underneath. And that shows how much mana the hero has. So you don't actually have to manually click on that hero then look at the, the 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 mana and work it out for yourself how many coils left which is what I always have to do because I see the Mountain King do I know whether he's going to storm bolt or not do I know whether he can I have to take at least a second or two out of my time to click on that Mountain King and see whether he can and by that time he might have thrown off a storm bolt that could kill me and I took that risk of doing it whereas these guys have the advantage of being able to see from a distance from an advantage he's got over you know a quarter of his mana so he's easily able to, to throw out one storm bolt or you know a third of his mana so anti-protection to stay safe from warden for now <sighs> warden is um, a, it's like a third party program a software that blizzard introduced um, that is able to detect map hack but <laughs> a lot of these map hacks are able to avoid it so kind of defeats the point and then there's a load of hotkeys for turning on hacks and this and that and there's also other hacks such as disk hack and tie hack as well so in solo I think if you're going to lose there's a way that you can basically disconnect the enemy at the same time as you so it's as if the game never happened I think so you don't get a loss and they don't get a win can you imagine how infuriated you would be if you just played like a half an hour to an hour long game of working your ass off against some map hacker who already has all these advantages and then at the very end he disconnects you and you get nothing for it. In fact you might even get a loss for all I know. It's just crazy. So um, I've gone on a lot longer than I was intending to talk but this was a serious discussion and um, a uh, very big topic in Warcraft 3 and uh, I just felt like after yesterday's games that I wanted to chat about it so if I can turn this into a full circle whilst I have absolute loathing for those that do map hack and I really want to punish them the truth is is I can't that's what I learned I can't punish them I can broadcast them on this and I'll show you perfect and his profile and stuff like that but for me as a person, a busy person, I don't have the time to really go around 
highlighting every single map hacker, making a long list, and then giving it to Blizzard, who are not going to do anything about it anyway, because it's Battle.net 1, so you can easily make new accounts, and you can get, they can just hack copies of the game, you don't even have to buy it, so um, it's not even going to cost them any money to get back into the game. I don't think they even care that much about their profiles. I remember there was some guy not that long ago selling his account or whatever and he had like a hundred percent win rate in like five hundred games so obviously a disc hacker so he's just selling out his services so people are making money off of this as well which is really disgusting so utter disgust aside the truth and harsh fact of everything is is you just gotta deal with it you know there's hackers I'm still going to have my fun, I'm still going to accuse people of hacking, I'm still going to get annoyed and angry. That's a natural human reaction, and I'm entitled to that. But deep down, I know there's nothing I can do about it. I went through the experience last night, I team killed this guy, I team killed him the next game. And it just made me think, well how much longer can I do this? I'm only hurting myself, I might be letting enemy map hackers win, there's so many people map hacking that I'm not even making a dent and I'm helping this guy to find games even quicker so that's going to ruin more people's lives so I don't have any other options to be honest so um, yeah I mean this is just something I wanted to get off my chest and uh, there's no happy ending to this story I'm afraid it's just is what it is and I wanted to have a good old chat about it and I think I got a few good points across and I hope um, you've listened and uh, enjoyed my chat and uh, you know you're a bit better off for it so thank you all and um, please subscribe like and comment and I'll see you later